I mean, that's almost mind-blowing to, to think. The, the power we're talking about here, it, not just to crumble this granite, but then to transport it from the Great Lakes. So we're talking about a huge flow of water and must have been traveling very quickly. So we need a conveyor belt, essentially, to move sediment from one location to another. And I love thinking about mud flows and that, that kind of thing being the, the way that big masses of sediment move long distance. Mm -hmm. uh, mud flows are kind of your specialty, aren't they? Well, I like mud flows and, <laughs> and uh, they appear frequently in the rock strata and I love pointing them out when I and, see them. And when you see mud flows, are, are you seeing the same kind of thing that they extend over a large, large area? Yes, and uh, well, some of the ba base of the Tapete sandstone here is muddy kind of composition mm -hmm. and it's very widespread. Yeah, um, mud flows can go hundreds of miles. Underwater mud flows, mm -hmm. and we think of mud flows as rather, uh, what would you say? Um, thin and narrow and going down valleys or something like that, but they can be under the ocean, be very widespread. And maybe over thousands of square miles, they can move hundreds of miles. It's, in it's almost like there was an ocean of mud uh, underneath there flowing. Yes. That's how big yes. you're talking about. So when you're pulverizing granite rock, you, you're creating massive amounts of, of, of particles that can be in a slurry that can flow great distance. 